And as we have seen every single time this matter has come before City Council, it was a packed house inside City Hall as dozens of business owners, restaurateurs, local residents all pleaded with Council both for and against the closure, partial closure, I should say, of that half block of South Street. Ultimately, City Council did move forward and vote unanimously to approve that partial road closure and thus pave the way for the amphitheater to move as part of the convention center relocation project. They said it was the only alternative that guaranteed the venues future in downtown Raleigh and worked within their parameters for size and cost. City leaders acknowledged that they missed the mark when it came to the public input on this plan, admitting that they could have done more to increase community engagement, especially with those concerned about the negative impacts of the closure. City staff did say they they held five extra community engagement sessions since the last time this came before council, but residents along South Street and near Boylan Heights still said they wanted to see more time taken before a decision. While business owners and those downtown stakeholders said that this was really a make or break decision for downtown Raleigh. Obviously, closing South Street is not ideal. But big picture, we got a, a bigger amphitheater that'll be better. Um, it's good for the businesses downtown like ours, but really it's good for all of Raleigh and the whole region. They have a great live music venue in the center of downtown, so we feel great about it. As a result of the haste, we are faced with settling. Settling for a second class solution which disrupts neighborhoods and other public works projects. The people of Raleigh deserve better. Those opposed to the closure, like Michael, said that they felt that they had been portrayed unfairly and that they support the amphitheater, but they just didn't like the process. As part of this plan and to help ease traffic issues caused by the closure, the city will add a new connector between Dawson and McDowell that will allow vehicles to get across town in the same direction that they would have previously on South Street. As far as when the partial closure of South Street will take place, city manager Evan Raleigh said today he expects that to happen in the first quarter of 2025, around the same time that the groundbreaking of the new amphitheater takes place. So if you're walking around downtown Raleigh, you're going to see some changes related to this project pretty soon.